Primal, Season 2, Episode 8, Colossius. We're going to talk about it here. Spoilers up ahead. Welcome back to Azart. My name is Nick, and I got Britt here with me. Go to her Instagram, cha.cha.cherry. Awesome photographer. Go check out her work. And now we're here to talk about Primal. But just in case, if you don't know, we cover a lot of Primal stuff here. Every episode to characters breakdown, to culture stuff, to just the animation of the eyes. It's just so much fun. Subscribe to get all the updates. Here we go. Wow. This is <laughs> this is an intense episode. Me, me and Kyle, we had the culture. We did the culture video. Oh, boy. We got like, <laughs> so many more cultures to it now. <laughs> Well, I mean, it's funny because we just talked about it being in place of that battle, which is 605 BC. And so it's like, okay, cool. So we can get a little bit of a timeline on this episode. But I think we should just go back to the beginning. Mm. I did not know he, the chieftain was dead. I just read today that he's actually dead. Mm -hmm. um, and so like, it, I was like, oh, he was like in this kind of reincarnated mm. thing. But like, no, he's legitimately dead. Like I didn't, I didn't realize that. I just thought he was morphed into something else. Or maybe it's his spirit that's morphed into something, but his body's dead, or something like that. It's more of like his soul is like only out for once the mission, and once that mission's done, his soul gets to rest in peace. It's like it's like the army of the dead in Lord of the Rings. <laughs> I just added that to the Discord, by the way, as uh, one of the characters. So I was like, oh, I feel like Prince Faro, whatever his name was, should um, face somebody. So you can look into that later. But, I mean, by the way, we're covering <laughs> Lord of the Rings here, as you know now. And we're also covering House of Dragons, Game of, Game of Thrones stuff. So subscribe for all the fun content. We're all over the place. And back to Primal. Primal. And, and all the crazy, it's just... We it look, Kyle also said Romans and we hit Romans. We we also had medieval knights and we also had like I look like we were in like China or something like that, too. We're all over the map, Everywhere. all over the place. But that's so Tarakowski to do. And when you look at Sam, uh, the opening shot with the sound effects was so Dexter, so mm. Powerpuff. It was so Samurai, which is the mm. ding. And I was like, oh my gosh, I feel like I'm watching Cartoon Network when I was a little kid, just on cartoons, the opening cartoons, shot. Cartoons, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I thought it was super cool just on that sound. I was like, wow, that's that's rad. Uh, let me go back to my nose. His sound design is really good, for sure. It's so yeah. definable. Yeah. It's so, like, that, that, that this is him. But it, it did take me back to my childhood, which was mm. exciting. Uh, even when I was watching a little bit of your guys's, uh, with the breakdown of the eyes. Yeah. Oh, man. man. Like, that's just makes me feel like a kid again i love yeah. it and it's love. just amazing how much detail and emotions could be put into eyes in in animation it's really cool really great in this episode a lot of great timings with animation with the fight scenes and the dance scenes it's really beautiful amazing attention to detail it's just it's so funny right, like I, I was even saying i like this more than rings of power <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's just my that's just my opinion. I could totally be wrong. Uh, but yes, I'm, I'm more of a Primal fan than a Rings of Power fan right now. <laughs> that, I mean, that's not comparable. That's not fair. There's, you're talking about an original story versus uh, whatever. I'm just We're saying not right now, they're both, they're both live right now. I'm just a huge fan of 2D animation. I'm a sucker for 2D animation. <laughs> well, for sure. It's where you started. Um, but I think that uh, the opening scene was really cool. I uh, mm. I also get like super freaked out whenever I see a raven take out eyeballs because it's a true thing. It's real, and it reminds me of the birds when she walks into the oh, room the bird, and yeah. she sees that like the guy and it's like, mm -hmm. like oh. <laughs> uh -huh. oh oh I actually went to do a photo shoot at the actual church of the birds, and it's, it just gave me the heebie jeebies. Mm. It's up in um, Santa Rosa, California, mm. but it was just, and ravens actually do that. Birds do that because. But mm. eyeballs are yummy to them, and they're soft and gooey, and <laughs> <laughs> like, so yeah. seeing them do that, I was like, oh. yeah. Leave me alone, kitty cat. And I uh, believe aren't like ravens and crows like some of the smartest creatures on the planet? Ravens too? are. Yeah. Oh, ravens are yeah. okay. Okay. Ravens. ravens are smarter than crows, and they're bigger, 
and they have I, different beaks. I just think they they passed the test for opening up like a jar, right? Isn't that like a like oh a, yeah yeah they they they're they were brilliant. They were one of them. I think uh, an octopus was another, and then there's like only a handful they're of animals artists. that can um open up jars. But if you want to check out Bernie's <laughs> awesome photos, make sure to check out her Instagram. She posts photos there and stuff. Oh. Chad dot chad dot cherry. Just drop it again because she was talking about the pictures she took and stuff. So go check it out. She might have posted there. I don't know, but she has tons of stuff. <laughs> but I, that really freaks me out in general and i thought it was cool to have the opening to mm. it with like the eyeballs like with the raven like okay okay, okay that's rad um and let's 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 talk about the kitty cat oh that's the yeah. next thing that mm-hmm. like, i'm a cat person i have a cat leopard cat leopard yeah leopard? yeah and it was a kitten cheetah right leopard, yeah. leopard. leopard. Okay. cheetah's like it's a different print and mm. i don't think that you could probably keep a cheetah to stay still mm. like that versus um like leopards are a little bit more lethargic and they don't sprint but whatever so <laughs> she, um queen bee which is kyle's term which is perfect <laughs> which i gotta go with like even though you know my name starts with a b and i did cleopatra wings so i was like oh i don't know if i should have done that today but so the kitty cat the way that the cat just automatically he's like oh yes i'm gonna go with you this kitten walked into the hand of the queen uh and just became buddies yeah. mm-hmm. right away like that's so cat like i don't know if anyone mm-hmm. has cats uh but cats like if it's an outgoing cat they call it like a cat with a mojo that, mm-hmm. that, that was pretty true to form but we get to see uh, the cat does get older which I think they're they reached like full age around eleven months because when I got my cat he was eleven months year old and he was he was fully grown mm. he wasn't a kitten anymore so it's about I would say a little bit less than a year mm. looking at the cat and then ex- that also gives the reason why the daughter hasn't aged as much because you see yeah. the daughter also I don't when, know about, when, when they I get know the how cat fast ki- cat well, I'm just saying kids. obviously humans don't grow as fast as cats and dogs and stuff like that like especially at the young age like it, it's like a 10 year thing for like yeah. you know humans and it's like 10 months for animals <laughs> right that's why dogs they say like in dog years cat yeah. years mm-hmm. um technically my cat is my age we're the same age right now mm. mm-hmm that's He's cool. 30. Yeah. <laughs> he made it. But, uh, yes, he did. He did. I also looked up T Rexes when we were talking about that earlier because I was s- pretty interested. I hope you in weren't it. using Jurassic Park as a reference. I'm just kidding. No, no, I'm, just, no I'm joking. Like no. Google search. Three to six months is what it takes for an a T Rex egg to hatch, is what wow. I gathered. Mm-hmm. And does it have to be warm? Uh, it it's just a question be. I have yeah. because. It didn't seem like it was warmed at all. It was like held up in hands. It was just in a satchel. Like it's I'll not do like... some research and let you know. By <laughs> it's fine if we if you know down I mean, in the comments below. Curious. If you have mm-hmm. answers in the comments down below, please, 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 fill us in. <laughs> yeah, let us know. Let us know because now I know it takes like three to six months for an egg, a T Rex mm-hmm. egg, to hatch. And I was looking into what I'm gonna, how I'm gonna dress up as Fang. Uh, I have some, I have a couple ideas. I'm gonna throw out there. That's but awesome. I do think the cat was really cool. I thought the cat was really cute. I love seeing the yeah. cat um, as an adult, even though it looks terrible and by a child. An attacking spear. Ooh. That was a bite. What a trained kitty cat. Yeah. What a good cat. <laughs> My cat would never do that. <laughs> My cat would hide. So what but... were like the standouts to you in this episode? Other than uh... the cat. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm wearing leopards. Story yeah. beats. Um, just kidding. No, 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 I'm checking out. I mean, Kyle's kicking my butt right now with like things I wanted to say. I don't want to just it's repeat fine. him. They, they might not have watched that video, but I just in case we have a video to call with the, the eyes. Queen Elvira. I don't know Elvira. if she reminds the Looney Tune a little bit. Like, oh, you just want to collect all no. the animals and like force everyone, including children, to just bend to your will. Elvira. Wow. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I kind of think she's. That was my cat, uh, Elvira. The way that she is with animals and mm-hmm. even holding the T Rexes. Uh, uh, why are you holding it? That's that's terrible. You just remind me of Elvira. Mm-hmm. I, I really did like her dancing. Beautiful animation. It reminded me of Def Eleven Robots. Um, mm-hmm. I don't know if you saw this pr- last season when it's like. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but that was much more jerkier with the timing than this this was really smooth smooth and fluid which i kind of got like avatar last airbender vibes too or a little 300 with, with, the, with the, the scene movements. when she's dancing with the fabric 
that that but like i think the animation with the movement and timing really resembled like avatar last airbender i, I think there was in season three isn't there like a dance like episode where they like put on a dance for the five firebender high school kids or whatever there's I, the volleyball there's the beach day where they go to the party yeah and, I and think then there's, like there's, a dance there's when thing, zuko but... learns the fire dance so zuko learns from or not is it zuko or Aang? i'm sorry ang learns the fire dance and the history of the fire lords um and the dragons yeah when he I goes think with that's zuko. What you're no i think it was earlier in season three i i think is when he had the headband and he went you went to a fire school it was like a fire nation school oh, for the day yes, and they, they put on a hair. dance party yeah mm-hmm. when he has hair and they remember how they put on a dance party uh i thought the shot of the the blood in the pool was kind of oh, intense oh yeah mm-hmm. and they go in and more recover and more red. Mm-hmm. yeah that was that was really intense for me get a filter <laughs> uh, i well what i thought was kind of cool with spear in this episode is he's he's learning a lot He's on the sidelines watching for sure. He's training, Mm -hmm. seeing warfare, just even with his gear and Mm -hmm. the techniques of war and weapons. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's interesting to see how he's going to fight differently. Mm -hmm. He he still has his primal tactic, but you can see that he's definitely training. Subscribe here. We're going to be covering all the different episodes. Go to Instagram, cha.cha.cherry. Got it right on Instagram. Go check it out. She got all the amazing artwork and stuff. And subscribe to get all of our content. Go to azar.space for audio and video links and our cool geeky shirts that we've been creating for for us here at the channel. And we'll see you on the next Azart. Oh!